What's going on guys, Big Beard here, uh, to do this limited vintage cube, or this vintage cube phantom draft thing on MTGO. Uh, I got my boy Pat here with me. Um, he's been playing Magic for the dawn of time, since the dawn of time. So, uh, he knows a lot about the stuff. He's probably owned most of these cards we're about to see today. Like in real world, in real life, um, yeah, uh, we're on his account because I don't have an MTGO account, so we're just gonna play with his cards and see what we can do. All right, let's start up. Yeah, we're hoping to open Omnath, just because it should be a good time. Yeah, really excited about doing this four color thing, aren't you? <laughs> I just want to do it one time. Just one time. Just one time. Alright, man, I'm excited. I mean, they dropped Nicobola Striking God to put Omnath in the cube, so. Right. Well, we'll have to look for as many moxes and, like, stuff that we can. For Always. It. Always. Yeah. It'd be pretty sweet if it's, like, turn one, Black Lotus or something. Their draft has started. Alright, cool. here we go. Give me cards. What do we got? One of three boosters. <laughs> All right, so no Mox, no Omnath, how unfortunate. But we do have this scary thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know his pictures are taking time to load, so, uh, yeah. Metal Worker. What? Yeah, Metal Worker. Mm. Ooh, look at that, that Soul Scar. Didn't you do Mono Red one time and just play? Uh, I've done Mono Red a couple times, and it's... Ridiculous if you can actually force it. Uh, what do you think? I think it's between Metal Worker and Emrakul. I'm actually leaning towards Emrakul because, I mean, it doesn't hurt to just not end up playing this at all. Yeah, this but, spell can't be countered. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, I go for it. I don't even care about that. I just want to cheat it and play. Oh. That's fair, too. So... The storm cards are here. <laughs> yep. All right, so what do we got? Oh, there's a welder. I guess that might have been good with... Yeah. However, I am very strongly suggested to shift gears because of this right here. Absolutely. Um, oh, the Scarab God's right next to it. Yeah, yep, yep. I think it's Big Tef, and it's not even close, though. Like... Yeah. No, nothing works well with this, and this guy is just ridiculous. Yeah, he's so good. I absolutely agree. And, like, everyone already knows, like, I play mostly control. That's my thing. So, like, there he is. We got there. There he is. We got him. He's still here. Grab All him. Right, so That's it. Omnath I mean, uh, Emrakul's still feasible, maybe. I mean, now we have to prioritize lands. Lands, yeah. Let's do some lands. Oh, let's see. We've got a Lava Claw Reaches, and we've got a Creeping Tar Pit. And then there's Fast Bond. I mean, there's the Goose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really, though, like, the only color we're not, we're not black. So, like, neither one of these are actually all that good for yeah, us. Um, yeah, yeah. Actually, didn't we just take this? Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's what I was saying. Between, I think it's between this and Fast Bond. Yeah, um, well, you may play any number of lands. From your you take a point for every land after the first. So, like, this... Ooh, that is really good. It's really good on turn one, late game. It's kind of... I mean, Goose will gain his life late, late game, at least, so... Omnath will gain us a lot of freaking life. Yeah. Uh, um, What do you think, Goose? I'm going Goose, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's I do like Goose. That. Goose is a little slower on fixing mana, but if we end up with Oko, we don't care. Right. And I'm pretty Guy sure. is cradle? What? <laughs> this is insane. Oh yeah, you didn't Temple? look you didn't look at all of this. No, before, I didn't. Did no. Alright, so black cards, we just don't care. Um we can go this route too. Both of druids. Because that's a way to cheat this big bad boy into play. Yeah, but, but we don't wanna We don't necessarily wanna What do you think? I think it's just Temple, Temple. Garden. Yeah, I was like just Temple Garden, right? We need that yeah. card. Um so let's nope, that's not what I want. Yeah. Move that to the sideboard. Wherever the hell the sideboard is. Yeah, right there. 
That's what I wanted. Up. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, Rick Sage is actually fine. Um, I think Priest is pretty good too if they try to cheat stuff, right? Being able to blow up moxes quickly though, and things what like about that. about land? I mean, it's... I don't like these lands for stuff like this. I mean, you're Fast not lands? You're, you're not necessarily wrong, but we're not gonna get too many effects like this either. And there's going to be plenty of lands going around the table. I, I really think it's this for now. Sage, okay. All right. Reclamation Sage is just... Rain, <laughs> freeze. Yep, storm cards. And then, of course, they have to immediately correct me when I say we generally will not get effects like this. And we get the Literally the next one, yeah. Um, I think it's still fine. I think uh, we still... I think it's between this and Oust. Um... Because House is a new one. Yeah, I was going to terminus for this. Really? Yeah. I was with Knight. I really like Knight of Autumn. It's... I can, I can agree with that. Yeah, I'm actually going to send this to full screen because I can. Cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh oh. Does that stop us? Uh oh. Eureka. But... Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Do it. Take it. Uh, Eureka. But uh, why? Eureka, you know you want it. It's permanent. Yes, but it can We're backfire. literally a it permanent can back, deck. It can backfire so hard. I've watched it backfire so hard, and Brazen Borrower is just good. I know, but you said you wanted to cheat out, dudes. This is the way to do it. Because if you yeah. cheat out Omnath and then just throw a bunch of lands I, down. I, I can't agree with that. I can't. I can't. I don't have the balls to do that. I can't pull that trigger. I'm sorry. Um, I think this is an easy move. This over here. That's done. And I think, it, honestly, I just think it's Harmonize. Really? You don't want to, like, draw cards, or... No, I, I think this draws us cards. Four mana to draw three, that's fine. No, draw cards to get know. to where we want to be. I feel like that's super bad, but... No, I mean, this card's nuts. I, I don't use Harmonize. I mean, I don't play a Faithless lot. Faithless Looting isn't really drawing... Like, it doesn't accelerate us at all. I don't uh, really agree. No, really? What? It came back around? Oh, that Mutavolt, though. <sighs> We're four colors. We don't want Mutavolt. This, uh, I guess, is probably the best card. Really? Not even the land thing? I mean, the land dominant. Koth yeah, is land. Yeah, but he focuses strictly on mountains. I do, however, like this. This card is very good. Permanent to his own hand? Yep. So if you, if you get a chance to suspend it on turn two, you just completely punish them. Uh, oh, look, that came back. That's fucking gay. Um, treasure uh, cruise? So Sword by converted mana cost. That's better. This actually goes in the two slot, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, you think it's Cruise? I mean, right. Uh, I mean, I, I'm just going to be that guy and not pass the man land, I guess. Okay. Because, like, there's, I'm nothing, totally there's down literally nothing in there we're going to play. Yeah. This is fine. Strikes fine, yeah. 100% okay with that. And this guy actually just kind of slides in here. Um, I mean, I'm okay with Siege Gang. He's it's dudes. something. It's dudes. And this is just. Nobody cares. All right, so we didn't do bad. We got one land in the first pack, but, I mean, there's, like, 30 or 40 lands in this thing. Easy. All right. All right, cool. I mean, I think it's looking to, looking okay. We obviously need to be green dominant because of Omnath. We need a little help with, like, Noble Hierarch and or Birds of Paradise. Definitely more ramp, yeah. Um, Signets will help, too. I think we want to prioritize anything with green and not black for reasons. Why would they select this first force? Uh, no. So we have Lumbering Falls and Raging Ravine. Mm. We've also got Glory Banger. Yeah, swords. Yeah. Man, why'd they have to do the Yargle? Why'd they have to do the Yargo artwork for this? I don't get it. Vault doesn't accelerate like it can get us maybe a turn two to fairy, turn two siege gang, something like that, but it doesn't do anything for this. Oh yeah, nothing for Nom that. Um Man, they got soul fire in here too. Man, that's insane. Yeah, this stuff's kind of bonkers. Uh, I'm literally between one of the lands and this guy. Still a land. STP. Ravine. I, I think, think Ravine. Yeah, Ravine gets bigger, right? Yeah, Ravine grows. The other one's hexproof. Well, what do you think? Do you uh, have... I think growing. Yeah. Growing is fine. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's. it's I mean, it's a better slow. pressure. I think. Yeah. And people tend to forget about man lands. So, hey, I found something I want. Oh, they got a little Tef in there, too. Yeah. And a Lotus Petal. 
Oh my I God. really think we need this, though. Yeah, I think so, This too. is essentially a better goose. Yeah. I mean, because we're really yeah. trying to jump We play up. Sorcerer Speed anyway, so, like, Little Teft doesn't affect us so much. And True. But the thing with this also, we're not going to play against the same people we're drafting with. This is all just random. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. Okay. I mean, curve-wise, I think we're doing okay. Three tends to be the heavy spot anyway. It's, it would be nice to open a Mox in pack three because uh, reasons. Neo Spires. Shatter Skull Smashing. The card's just good. But. Ooh, an extra turn. But. Fetch. That's good. This. Wait. I think we need to prioritize taking this one right now. Well, we can't we, even fetch any. Oh, wait, we can okay. fetch the Temple Garden, yeah. and we, we're going to end up with more lands. dual lands. It's going to happen. Being able to fix colors, though, as efficiently as possible, that's going to be key. And, like, we're sitting on th four blue spells already. Right. Three red spells, lots of green. So, like I said, green needs to definitely priority. Yep. I'm just happy we found this guy so we can try and force it one time. <laughs> just one time. Because we still have another week of this we can try and do. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Waiting on people. So, we, are we really going to play Siege King? Five drop, dude? Debatable. For now, yeah, he's in there. And... Oh, oh my god, that dude's so crazy in standard. I hate yes, him so but much. Yes, Windswept Heath gets us a red source now, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, like, I don't think that's even close to being an option. Zealous Conscript's cool, but... yeah. I mean, there's Pestermite and Zealous Conscript for both in there, so, I mean, if we see something come around to warrant it... I just like the idea of being able to slam this guy on turn five and then fetch crack it into a fairy that seems okay um no, man, man, that was cool. uh, prime speaker vanifar do not care don't care about days stirring wildwood is fixing but again it's slow oh wait We don't even have to put this in the companion slot. We can just play it. And this is fine because, like, it lets us bounce something else. We get multiple triggers off of these. It resets Omnath. Oh, yeah, card. you're on as a dude, not as a companion. Yeah, I be... think I like that. And if we happen to play Siege Gang, he sets up Siege Gang very well to just make more dudes. Okay. Which I think I'm Ooh, so okay well. with. Yeah, but we need color Fine, fixing so. as best as possible. Like, yeah. this is actually tempting. No, it's or nice. even this. Because she finds us lands. Yeah. Forced at that. Uh, this, uh, she only searches up basic force, which is fine. Yeah, well, it's we're... when she flips and you get to start digging. Yeah. Um, I say Nissa. That's my go. You think Nissa? Yeah, I'm okay with Nissa. I can agree with that because the Mystic might come back. And even if it doesn't. Like, these two are both functionally better than the Mystic for us. Yeah. Hey. We want all four of these. Yeah. Um, Twin Signet and Solemn. But, like, we don't have a whole lot on four yet. And we're really trying to jump ahead. Um, uh, I'm going to go Signet. That's my call, because at least it's... It's two for one every single time that we try to use it. It does help get us to Omnath a little faster. Like turn I think one I would goose. actually almost prefer that it was a red one. But then again, having these two to search up basics is fine. Yeah. But yeah, we can do that. Some more new cards they added. Hey, look. Get, oh. Pro G. <gasps> yeah. Tarka. Okay, I guess Eureka might have been okay. Uh huh. But <laughs> a braid, a tarka. Like we have almost no interaction, so a braid would be fine. 
but then again, also having this another again, signet, it's two yeah, more colors. Like we and want, this one's actually green, so this one's actually a little. That's more a little. Beneficial. That's a little bit more important too. Yeah. Um. Don't care about this. We've already got two guys to do that. That. I mean, it blows up land. I mean. Yeah. If we were doing that route, then I'd be a lot more trolly with. It. Hey. That lumber and falls so. though. Uh, yeah, but we've already got raging ravine. Uh, and this ooh. guy's really good. Yeah, I don't mind getting Glorbinger if you need a dude, but... He's also removal on a stick. Yeah. But then again, we do have Yorion and Siege Gang. Yeah, which is like, a grip load of dudes that we can just keep popping. Alright, what do you think is between these two? Um, You call it. Let's go Glorybringer. Glorybringer yeah. it is. Because okay. we, can't, we can't search the Lumbering Falls off that, so... And wow, Little, little Tef... Came little Tef came back. Yeah, we also Ooh, got her. And Elspeth. Like, we're literally splashing white, so that's terrible. Yeah, and I don't think that's good. Like, we've got... You just want Thrag Tusk? You just want Thrag Tusk to keep it green? I mean, we do have two Signets to be able to get there with this, also. Oh, yeah, we have his Signet. We actually have the Azoria Signet. And, so. like, he's still fine to make sure they don't interact with us. Right, so and that stops fine. Storm. It stops if they're trying to do, like, like a Storm. This is more what I wanted to actually see come back. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I was hoping to see. I mean, the Needle Spires is fine. Double strike. But we have no I way mean, to pump he, it, though. Rook is even fine. I mean, he does make bodies, doesn't he? He when makes he... bodies and he's removal. And then he tutors for bodies. I don't know. I I, I think... I, I think I'm fine with this. Okay. Like Because we've got the two mana dorks plus these. Um, hey, look, these conscripts came back. Mm, interesting. We're getting a little heavy on the five end, though. So... Yeah. I don't think any of these are actually any good for yeah. us. What's this... This can sometimes come in out of nowhere and win games. So, yeah. that wild. Um, yeah, might as well. Land, still yeah. there. Yep. Um, take the big dude. Yeah, just planeswalkers take... are generally a pain in the ass to deal with anyway. Yeah, we just don't want to deal with it. Somebody didn't want to play the goblin deck, and that's still fine. All right, last pack. Here we go, and it's time twister. Womp womp. Oh, oh, baby. So much. Aired Mesa, Savannah, Steam Vents. Oh, a, man. And Carry Atted. We do not... I don't think any of these really come back, except maybe the Savannah, just because Green White's not popular. And we've already got the Winswood Peath, Temple Garden, and the Strang Wildwood. Oh, I man. almost say grab the Aired Mesa and hope this comes back. Really? Not not the Carry Dead? No, I'm more about the lands, to be completely just, honest. Just straight up lands? All right, let's, let's, let's get them. And like, we can go Steam Vents and pray this comes back. We also haven't seen very many red fetches. Yeah, you're so, right. So, like, we can get away with taking this, and any red fetch that comes around is good for us. True. Yeah, because even, like, a Blood Saint Mire or... Any blue or, fetch does yeah. it. So, I mean, yeah. I think we just take that. I think, yeah, color appropriate is more... You know. Oh, look, that guy was hiding. That's okay. We don't need him. Um, oh, hey, get rewarded. Tundra. Bet. <laughs> I forgot he was in here, too. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> you didn't take the Pro G, you don't take the Nimizit. <laughs> Crucible. You want the Tundra? Or the... I, want, I want the Tundra. Yeah. That lets our, win that win our Windswept Heath now fetches every color for us. Yeah. Ooh, Conclade's so good. Oh, and <laughs> Island. Yeah, I say the Botanic Island. I mean, like... And then there's a Simic Signet. Like, obviously something from here has to come back. I think it's this. And, and then we still have... question. A, a scavenger. He's in there, too. It's pretty cool. So, give us any blue, any red fetch. Sneak attack. <laughs> doesn't hit black. Fractured Identity. Euro. Yeah, we gotta take Euro. I don't know. I mean, we do have... There is this. Like, there is this, but this does this... It actually helped get us ahead. Yeah. I think uh, Euro like or Ewit. I mean, those are my... Those are fine. Ewit might I'm... actually come back. You would be surprised how often something like this comes back. I think Uro might actually be the correct play, even though he's gonna be hard to get back. But we have enough guys, they'll just have to keep killing things, and then eventually yeah. he'll show up. Um... But at the same time, this card's just broke. Like, yeah, then, we're already pretty heavy on five. Yeah, well, right? we're cutting at least one of these already. 
I think Euro. I think Euro. Yeah. All right. Fine. You win this round, sir. Yeah. We'll take the Euro. I mean, I play a lot of I play a lot of standard on Arena, and I mean, before he was banned, he was in that Omnoth deck. Uh, I don't really care for anything in here. Mm. Like maybe this, just because it's at least green. We do have to start coming up with some more playables I very mean, soon. I mean, we can jam some of this stuff in here. It's not a huge deal. But being the four-color deck, we need, want as much fixing as possible. Yeah, but... So I, I don't know. I'm between this and Confluence. That's literally where I'm at, is these two. I don't know. I'm seeing that Wall of Blossoms, like... <laughs> and I'm thinking Wall of Blossoms, because it's 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 a cheap blocker that... Hey, I'll place a bet with you. What? This will come back. All right. I think it's between one of these two. I do confluence because we need some more fours. Right. Our, our, do fours we? our fours are only at three. Yeah, like I, I'm gonna disagree. I'm sorry. And what did it take for us anyway? What did it give us? Because it did not give me that land. So sulfuric vortex. No, it gave us Thassa's Oracle. Dang it! Ooh, that's winning. We've got only twelve creatures. I just realized. Um, <laughs> which is still fine. Uh, I still think it's this. And, like, this. What? It's... What? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, I, it's either... I didn't, it's, like, realize how big, like, signets it's are. here, here, or I think maybe here. I think removal, like, interaction, right? Like... Chain lightning, you think? Yeah. Well, we're not heavy in red yet, anyway. But it is one. All right. I'll give you that one. We stalled too long and it gave us the stupid Thus as Oracle. Feels bad. So hey, look, Storm Cards. Neither one of us got what we wanted. Mm. Give her? Golos. Cool. If nothing else, he's a giant solemn. Fair, I guess, yeah. Um, and again, we just, at this point, we need bodies. I think. Yeah, I, I still think it's between one of these two. Um, we're, I don't think we're aggressive enough for this. I think this gets hit with Yorion and goes and gets another land and we don't care. Fair. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And, uh, like, we can purposely throw this in now just because. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I think we can actually drop the Glory Bringer in case we absolutely have to have it, we can. Um, uh, did you want an interaction? Here's a Lightning Helix. Mm. I love it. I know you love this counterspell over here, but like, we're not heavy enough. No, no, yeah, that. I wouldn't do counterspell. Um, I think Lightning Helix is the best. Helix is fine. There. That gives us some burn spells to interact with. Make you a little happier. Amarius Call. See, the Savannah came back. Mm, look at that. Called it. Um, <laughs> there's also Geist of St. Trap. Yeah, but I, think. He, I think he's better for an aggressive deck, and we're more of a trying to get to Omnath and do stupid things. Um, Bodies. I am a little upset that we only got one fetch. It feels really bad. I know you're calling bodies. I think still grabbing the fetch is fine because we've got a bunch of main lands we can go beat the hell out of somebody land. with. Um, Crucible. Crucible. Um, Crucible's back if you want it. Um, bodies, but there ain't nothing in there. I there's mean, this guy. Yeah, but he's he's like an early aggressive. like and He's also something we don't necessarily care about getting blown up and he comes back. True. He, he comes back bigger. Four, four, right? Six yeah, mana. Yeah. It still wants to take this guy. That seems like a terrible idea. Um, if anything, it would be Maelstrom Pulse. Because we have the Creeping Tarpet to play off, off of. Yeah, if we land Gorlos, yeah, we'll do that. But I still think playing Golos is fine. Alright, so it's Colonnade or Rabble Master. I think Rabble Master is probably better. I mean, we're pretty flooded on the early game now. So I think, actually, we can almost get rid of still playing Glorybringer, because we're kind of a ramp-heavy deck at this point. Yeah. I think Goblin's Ravenmaster is better, because he works with the... If we decide, Yeah, and I mean, if we, even if we flicker... I mean, this is the best man land, but it looks like we're taking a rabble. Because we weren't necessarily set on playing this, either. And Condemn, I think, is fine. Absolutely. Um, Condemn is actually more interaction for us, as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good call. Um, hey, look, it's all a storm of, card. Um, I'm just going to take the Dreddy because... Yeah. Blockers, right? Hey, why not? They're hard to deal with. Hey, look, the Razorburst Sticky came back. 
We got all green white. We got all the green white fixing, and of course, there's a steam can. Don't get so. Um, we're actually at. Why the hell are we at twenty five cards? What did I miss? Anyway, so let's. There we go. Okay. So. Um. We're really heavy in the five slot. This actually goes down here because you, you try not to play that on five unless you have to. Um, so we're at 25 cards in the main. we got to cut a couple. Um, I almost say cut chain lightning just because it's a sorcery. Fair. But on the same token, then there is also just this guy. Because this, at least in Iraqs, this does not do a whole lot for us. It's right. definitely more aggressive. Uh -huh. Um. As much as I want to, like I really want to, I don't know if we need him. But at the same time, like this guy seems fairly hard for us to be able to get into play twice. I mean, he's still life gain, and he gets a, and he has the opportunity to put land into play. And this much is true. And even if you go, um. I mean, I don't know how you'd get him and play a second time other than just casting him from the yard, but... Like, I'm actually almost fine just cutting either the Orion or the Golos. <sighs> Not necessarily both, but one of the two. Well, don't they work together? Is that, isn't that like what your idea like, you were thinking? Yeah, but, like, we did only end up with a Creeping Tar Pit, and I don't want to put Swamps in here. Yeah, and Yorion being able to reset this to draw a card, it resets Glorybringer after you exert. It gives us more tokens here. Gives us another treasure. Gives us another food. food bounces yeah. a thing. Uh, blow stuff up. Gain life. Blow stuff up. Like, mm -hmm. um, it also like I said, it also lets to fairy draw a card. To fairy draw a card. Untap four lands. Not quite, because he does not have them come back until the end step. Oh right. But look at all these pretty things here. We did pick up 11 lands. Out of those 11, we don't need this one. So we have... Let's separate this out. There's a man land. There's a man land. There's a fast land. The thing that hurts is we got no... We probably should have taken the air Mesa. <laughs> oh, yeah, the other fetch. Instead of the steam vents, because the steam vents might have come back, but I didn't see a volcanic god in our future. Indeed. So we have a windswept heath that fetches everything except these yeah. two. So it still fetches blue, which is fine because it can still get the tundra. Right. So windswept heath still fetches all the colors. Um, somehow we ended up with every green white source in here. Right? Yeah. Which is, I guess, okay. So. I think this is fine. Now we've got to add our basics to it. What are you telling me to do? Four planes. Why? You're white or blue, so you're white. You're white. Four, five, six. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white sources already? I don't think we need that many. No, I don't think so there. I think two is efficient. What's the next color? We probably need at least one more mountain just because we have guys that are double red and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do one more force probably too. One, two, three, four, or... five, six, seven. I can agree with that actually. Because what? How does it take to suspend him? Is it colorless? One in a blue. Oh yeah, yeah. See, we're not even worried about him being double blue then at that yeah, point, right? Right. And like the only double blue spell we technically have is Brazen Borrower coming Bar off of the adventure, but yeah. this is gonna be interaction. Again, it's... get something out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that. Yeah. I think we're okay with this. Um. So, yeah, and we did only end up with two signets. I'm still kind of angry about this one. We spent too much time arguing over a card. <laughs> Same. 
But that's okay. So, uh, yeah. Let's try it. All right. Um, yeah, so... Uh, oh, I'm looking at time. Yeah, I know. Um, so that's our draft. This is the deck we're going to be using. Checking it out. Um, stay tuned. We're going to go into the first game. See what uh, See what that's about.